name's Ben Cook and welcome for Angling For You. Hi and welcome to Angling For You. You join me on the third in the series of uh, the live match and uh, what we're going to do today is just have a look at the margin line. Not too sure if we'll get anything big out of it or, or anything of decent stature but what we're going to do is uh, have a go down his right hand side, it's plumbed up, um, I fed micros a little bit of corn and, uh, and a few hard pellets down there so we've got a mixture of corn, we've got to put some dead reds on there as well um, and we'll sort of just see what's going down there. Um, it's uh, it's starting to pick up a little bit of wind, we've got, got an, uh, I'd say an alright net of fish, not, not bad for this time of year. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll we'll give it a couple of goes down the edge, and if you know we, we can have a look at the bag of fish after. I will just run through the rig that we've got. So starting with the elastic, we've got Preston uh, Jira Hollow uh, Green. So it's about um, an eight to ten sort of kind of elastic, really stretchy. Uh, we've got a shanty style float and we've got um, 015 down to an 013 bottom. Uh, I've got all the shot bolts just above the hook link and then I've got a couple um, under brakes just underneath the float and that's down to a size 18 PR27 Preston hook. And what I'm going to do to start with is just a single grain of corn and we'll see what happens. I'm not um, sure, they're not massive on corn, I don't know this time of year uh, but we'll give it a try and see what we can do so I've baited up just off this corner and all I'm going to do is uh, just gently lower the bait in to the margin. <laughs> Quick bite there. Could be, um, the, the thing is this time of year there's a lot of silvers. Uh, about before they can't really switch on so I'm, I'm, at best I'm, I'm looking for you know some half decent stamp F1s at this time of year um, can just be a little extra bonus maybe some tench or some decent stamp skimmers at the first part of uh, the video we fished across um, on the method did quite well when that quietened down we, uh, we fished the middle part of the match um, on his on his uh, halfway across lines, mainly to uh, the air to where we where the fish came shallow, f picked up the odd F ones and um, a real lot of small silvers, which was nice. Uh, it's really nice fishing in between. Um, so I've baited this this up for about half an hour and left it. So it's just going to be a case of seeing what's hanging about. A few indications on the float, but they, they look more like small fish if I'm honest. So maybe the fact that we we'll just try a couple of dead reds, see if we can get some decent stamp roach. The thing is with margin fishing, it's not always about catching absolute donkeys down the edge. Um, it can be just a bit better stamp roach, it can be, you know, the odd bonus fish of a couple of pound. It can just give you a little bit of extra weight. And like I say, we're in spring now. It's, it must have dropped about four degrees um, in the last couple of hours with that wind. It really is chilled off a little bit now. Another F1 by the feel of it. While, you, while you're playing this one, just get a little bit of, of feeding into, back into that margins. Sometimes um, we use, the, you know, the ground baits good for your margins as well. I'm not saying you can't use it this time of year. If you, if you have a new sort of um, response to it, then go for it. Um, just don't feed, obviously, as much as you would do summertime. 
and uh, I just find that you know when I, I do fish out, so they do respond really well to pellet, um, and then fishing a, you know, a bright bait like a corn over the top, um, you know, it usually does the goods. Let's just come out the net. So what I'll do is I'll just change the camera angle and see if we can get a better view. Into another fish now. This one feels a little, a little bit bigger. It's definitely a, a, a bit bigger stamp this one. Use that soft elastic. Enables you to get it straight out of that swim. Yeah. Not massive. Not massive. Uh, but it's uh, definitely a better stamp than the last one. It's a nice little F1 by the look. Seeing with when we're fishing, probably 10 minutes or so down this edge, and you know, I've had four, four fish which probably have equaled the uh, best part of eight or nine pounds. And this time of year, that can really make a difference. Just in the muscle of the mouth. back in again. This one's a bit better fish. Managed to turn in from the reeds. Let's keep that, that tip sunk under the water. It's not a massive fish but certainly a bit better stamp than what We've been catching. in the net. Quite a chunky fish. Perfectly uh, hooked in the corner of the, the lip, right in the bone, in the muscle. There we go. Right, it's been, a, it's been a great session. What I'm going to do now is just throw the gear to one side and we'll get the net out and we'll see how we've done. Guys, what I'm going to do is uh, just going to get the net out and uh, we'll have a quick gander at what's in there uh, and how we've done and then I'll, uh, I'll throw it all back and we'll go from there. Been 
Ones uh, been fantastic today. Some lovely fish in there, so even some double figure ones as well. So, you know, uh, if you're watching it the backwards way around, make sure you watch part one and two um, about the different lines and uh, catch us on the Facebook group, uh, angling, ang angling for You, uh, and uh, on Instagram at angling underscore for you as well. So, thanks a lot, guys.